Hi, I'm Sean Fader. In 2014, I created the hashtag wishing pelt for Spring Break Art Show and Pulse New York. Over the course of eight days, 10 hours each day, and without breaks, I stood nearly motionless on a platform. Visitors were invited to whisper a wish in my ear, run their hands through my chest hair, and to seal their wish, they needed to upload a selfie to Instagram with a hashtag wishing pelt. Over 2,500 individuals participated, documented in the photographs they uploaded to Instagram. As of today, I have been contacted by more than 400 visitors thanking me for making their wishes come true. I have never spoken their wishes aloud, but I can say that 99% of people wished for love, understanding, and connection, not power, money, and control. These intimate performances are sealed by photographic contracts and shared publicly, fulfilling the demands of social media while maintaining private moments of intimacy. What at first seemed like a preposterous proposition was instead a dialectical and disarming way to produce intimacy within social media's compulsory exposure. I began thinking about what authorship looks like in digital spaces, memes, and a kind of new authorship I began to call collective authorship. During the course of the show, Richard Prince commented on one of my images from Wishing Pelt, took a screenshot, printed it large scale on canvas, and later included it in his new portraits show at Gagosian. It felt strange to see a giant image from Wishing Pelt that claimed to be authored by Richard Prince at Gagosian Gallery. And on top of that, he had given it a $40,000 price tag. Wishing Pelt was supposed to be small, digital, and free. He made it large, expensive, and a so-called painting. Though many people urged me to sue Prince, Wishing Pelt is about generosity. Suing him would have undermined the piece. Instead, I sent out a press release stating, Sean Fader's hashtag Wishing Pelt is on view at Gagosian Gallery's Madison Avenue store in an exhibition organized by Richard Prince and entitled New Portraits. It continued on. At first glance, one might be led to believe that Richard Prince's intentionally naive commentary on Instagram images to be merely a last gasp at colonizing the work of others, rather than just a replaying of that white male privilege as an attempt to stay relevant in a world he doesn't understand. Prince's curatorial effort represents a new turn in the form of his affectionate and deep engagement with the work of his peer, the photographer and performance artist Sean Fader. Hyperallergic immediately interviewed me, and both the article and press release went viral. I was then invited to participate in the exhibition Share This, Appropriation After Cynicism, at Denny Gallery on the Lower East Side. Prince is the poster child for the death of the author, and yet what he did was not only erase me from the work, but he also erased thousands of people who came and wished and shared and collectively authored hashtag wishing pelt. Instead, he declared it his. For the exhibition at Denny Gallery, we took it back. I created backdrop for the rebirth of the collective author. There's a whole lot of authorship going on, Richard Prince. And in the title, I quote and credit Richard Prince. For the piece, I reappropriated the Prince piece and added a second panel to create a diptych. Printed on the second panel is, our pictures are for each other, hashtag wishing pelt, hashtag collective authorship, hashtag art selfie. Next to the piece was a selfie stick, and the last hashtag explicitly invites viewers to photograph themselves with the piece. I was present in the gallery for the entire run of the show to talk about the work, and to take selfies with anyone who wanted. The exhibition text stated, intended to live on Instagram, this work expands its authorship to everyone who takes an art selfie with it as its backdrop. Each time you take an art selfie with the work, it sends the photo back to its home in Instagram and engages you with its collective authorship. Remember, our pictures are for each other, share.